Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and today I want to show you how to toggle timeline views with your keyboard. Now you might say, what, what, what do I need that for? Uh, let me show you quickly. For example, I use that to quickly toggle on and off the sample plot by just hitting a keystroke. Or for example, using uh, the audio keyframes. And I can quickly toggle back and forth between the different timeline views just with the press of a button. Okay, so how do we do that? Now, let me show you quickly. First, we have to create the timeline views. You can change the timeline views by pressing this little button here. So let's just first save that first view. Make sure you have a number in front of the name because the order of uh, the views is determined by that number and we'll need that later. So let's call that one standard. Okay. Now let's go for the second view. We want to do the sample plot. So let's turn on the sample plot. And let's also make the, the audio tracks a little bigger by pressing uh, Command L or Control L on a Windows machine. As big as you like them. Something like that. And let's save that under a different name. Like Sample Plot. Okay. Now for the third view with the audio keyframes, you also have to check the auto gain and we'll make the tracks even bigger. That's nice and big. And let's save that timeline view again. Three audio gain. Okay. Now we have different timeline views and we could change between them using that menu here. But uh, still no way to access that via keyboard, right? Hmm. Now we need to use workspaces. See, there's the timeline views and they have the names and you can see the order is determined by the number Otherwise, it would be ordered alphabetically. Double click the workspace setting and check activate settings linked by name. Plus, check manually update this workspace. Let's say save workspace now. This should be our default workspace with, uh, with the simple view. Okay, so now let's give that workspace the name. One standard. Now duplicate the workspace by hitting Command D on a Mac or Control D on a Windows machine. Change the name to two sample plot. Again duplicate the workspace. Uncall the third workspace three. audio gain. Now if we hit the different workspaces you can see the timeline views become different because each workspace just calls up the timeline view that is that has the same name. Now all we need to do is add the workspaces to our keyboard. Go to the keyboard setting open that up, call up the command palette by going to tools, command palette and go to more. Now you can simply drag and drop the workspaces onto your keyboard. Notice that the workspace buttons are numbered 1 through 8. That's why it was important to number the workspaces because the first workspace always refers to the first uh, in alphabetical order and the second to the second and so on. That's why that was important. And just by pressing the button, you can see, 
you change the timeline view. That's it, it's very, very handy and you will it will speed up your workflow considerably. I'm pretty sure it will. So thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe uh, to the podcast on my webpage at avidscreencast.com or in the iTunes store. Uh, if you have any comments or su- suggestions uh, like uh, future show topics or anything, drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and also check out my Facebook page at avidscreencast.com slash Facebook. If you'd like to see what kinds of things I do professionally, check out my website at editguy.de. Well, thanks again for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.